snowstorm caused problems for firefighters in Seekonk as they battled a large blaze at a strip mall. Tony Gugliotta has that story. It was just before 6.30 Sunday evening when an eagle-eyed police officer spotted something. A police officer was uh, traveling down uh, Fall River Avenue and he noticed smoke coming from the building. Uh, notified the fire department. Upon our arrival, we had heavy smoke conditions. Seekonk Fire Chief Michael Healy says that the fire started in a craft store called Bead and Wire. As you can see, heavy damage spread to the adjoining businesses as the fire grew. The uh, strip mall sustained heavy damage. Uh, there's been a small collapse of part of the roof um, during the middle of the fire. We pulled all the crews out of the building right now. Um, just for safety precautions. The collapse was caused by heat from the blaze and not a buildup of snow on the roof. But the snow making it difficult for crews to locate fire hydrants in the area and run lines to the scene. It's always difficult in weather conditions like this. It's always difficult. Difficult for commuters as well. A busy portion of Route 6 needed to be closed down so firefighters could access hydrants across the street. The chief expects to have crews on scene throughout the night. Everybody's out. There's been no injuries, no firefighter injuries, no you know employee injuries and stuff like that.